this could be us So back to what I was saying This could be us Inquisitor, my navigator has reported a small-scale warp surge manifesting in this segment. We can't stay here for long, or the ship will be ripped apart. Gas trap, but a boring day at all. Sorcerer, your machinations end today. Lucky of the false emperor! He will not stop the ritual! The warp will bring the fires of destruction and show you the power of the true gods! No mercy for the heretic, no forgiveness for the traitor. You can meet your foul gods in person now, Sorcerer. But as it's always a little bit worse, I need to find it.
I'm afraid I'm fresh out of Amish second cigars. But I have a new Aldari contingent moving in for all your entertainment needs. These Eldar seem really persistent. It is time to combine our forces. My thoughts, exactly. Tell me more about these Eldar invaders. They have arrived with a fairly substantial force, I'm afraid. The Farseer will resort to his favorite tactics and use wraith constructs to get to the data vault. You sound like you know him very well. Actually, we go way back. And in case you wondered, yes, his heartwarming visit is related to that unique person on your ship. That is all classified. You should have informed me about the Farseer's information. Have you ever tried making conversation with a Farseer? It's like interpreting a fever dream. I didn't even realize what his words meant at the time. I'm expecting an awkward conversation about the fate of the data vaults. We might still have some time. But why did the Eldar invade this place? They must think that they'll find something here they can use to save their craft world. We must not forget that the Eldari are a dying race, clinging to every shred of hope. You are demonstrating almost alarming levels of empathy. Decades in disguise as the rogue trader captain of the good ship Storm Skipper. And certain things will rub off. What exactly? Navigation skills. Ablet. I'm quite proud of my meticulous paperwork. And I can always find the great inn in any void port. Your primary objective has 
Lance and Chain, Sergeant. You must protect the Alpha Prime. With all due respect, Inquisitor, I feel that we are wasting my potential here. But I will obey. Also be here. The Elder must have been trying to locate the Martyr. I'd rather put it differently. They have been definitely after the Alpha Variety. Without it being here, the traits make her capable of cleansing an infested craft world. Absolutely. Therefore, they will not retreat until their Farseer is dead. Mercer, fate has brought us together again. I wish we had met under different circumstances. This is the path we must walk, and it ends here for one of us. Before I become part of the Infinity Circuit, you must know something. Wait. I'm initiating pit recording. We never wanted to... harm that... unique individual. We only wanted to take her to our craft world. You wanted to cleanse your dying world? That is our only purpose. And why did you need these Imperial Archives? I have no interest in your petty secrets. But I saw that you would come. You, the key to the Anathema Ultima. The Harlequin warned us not to take this path, but we didn't have any choice. What can you tell me about the Harlequin? 
She cannot be trusted. She has her own agenda. She walks the seventh path. Her fate is linked to the Whispering One. I've answered your plea and launched a rescue operation to save you. You still owe me some answers about the Alpha Prior. I'll be completely honest with you. I can't answer your questions. Why? Don't do anything impulsive. I know someone who can help you. And who would that be? A Harlequin. You'll be pleased to hear that you have already met her. You are playing a dangerous game here, Inquisitor. This is not a game, and we both know the Harlequins hold the key to many secrets. I'm talking about the fabled Black Library, of course. The source of all ancient and forbidden knowledge. The existence of the library is known only to a few Elder, and even fewer are allowed to enter. The Harlequins are the exception. See? It was worth hearing me out. I don't like the way you set me up, Inquisitor, but I need answers. Do you happen to know where I can find this Harlequin? As a matter of fact, I do. On the planet Loriac. The exterminated maiden world of Craftworld to Athel. One of the few truly charming corners of the subsector. I can only imagine. That is my next destination then. Careful down there, Inquisitor. The world is crawling with Tyranids. My main concern is not those Xenos, but another one in particular. Are you certain that the Harlequin will be here? I am, as much as one can be, certain about Harlequins. But I know her, and I'm confident you'll meet her. It is surprisingly quiet at the moment. The Tyranids are hibernating. Trust me, your arrival will stir them up mightily. A precise and surgical strike is what I need now. Send me the coordinates of the Harlequin. There are three webway gates in the area. The Harlequin could be near any of them. about plans extending beyond contact with the enemy. The combat statistics of the Gordos neither confirm nor refute this timeline. 
I'm still perplexed by the ferociousness of the tyrannies without the eye of it. It is indeed remarkable. The Xenos recognize the futility of a full-scale invasion and use the available biomass to infect as many planets as they could. Still, eventually they were purged by the Imperium. Not entirely. After the Tyranids had scattered their forces, isolated diaspores were able to survive eradicate. Inquisitor Mercer, do you have any idea what the Harlequin is trying to achieve on an infested planet? First of all, it used to be their world. I'd say the Eldar regard it as their world still. Harlequins are attracted to the sights of great tragedies. What is so unique about this planet? This used to be an Eldari maiden world, at a hub in the webway. Numerous gates are still intact. So she can dance between the webway and real space. Perfect hideout for a Harlequin. Waging the same hopeless war for existence in a hostile galaxy that we are. news. Judging by the Argo reconnaissance, the entire area is showing Tyranid activity on an immense scale. Without backup, the chances of success in an engagement with the Tyranid invasion on this scale are minuscule. May I make a proposal? We have already engaged the services of a certain Sir Caradoc, the pilot of the fearsome Imperial Knight called Crimson Wanderer, in cases just like this. I find your initiative commendable, Captain. Well, this night could be anywhere in the sector. Now I'm beginning to see why the threat of the isolated Tyranid Diosprees led the Adeptus Mechanicus to order exterminators. Yes. That was a sad fate for this maiden world. The current situation proves though, that even an exterminators might not be enough. What is more disturbing is that this proves that this particular hive mind acted like a highly intelligent being and used cold logic.
We must talk, Harlequin. Seriously this time. I fought my way here. No, human. You have barely started fighting. The true battle only begins now. My tolerance for your riddles has not increased greatly since last time. Still, you are exactly where you need to be. Not far from here, upon the plains of despair, where the towers no longer sing laments, lies the ruin of the Shrine of the Prophecy. I've warned you about talking in riddles, haven't I? Your kind call it the Viserim Prophecy. That is where the corrupted wanderer, the one you call Uther Tiberius, followed the same visionary words. Tell me about the Shrine. Why? You would not understand it. The Shrine holds great power, which is why the Devourers are drawn to it. I will lead you there once the path is clear. And if I refuse to play my part in your wicked theatrics? Then the Nexus will open, and its purple gaze will fall upon your falling empire, Inquisitor. You sound just as insane as I thought. However, I have an idea about that swarm. I will join you in the endless dance of death after you have walked through fire and flames. The Conclave has sent you a message, Inquisitor. I have received your report, and I am very satisfied with the way you have handled the situation. However, I must add that I have found certain details lacking, especially the ones that concern the role of the Adeptus Mechanicus in the unfolding events. I cannot stress enough the importance of thorough fieldwork. Carelessness leads to negligence, which will eventually lead to anti-imperial activities. All in all, great work. The Emperor protects. I have good news. The Free Blade Knight is awaiting deployment against the Tyranids, and Sir Ambrose Caradoc is currently reciting the prayers of sacred recalibration in the hangar. That zone is the epicenter of the infestation. He needs to be prepared. Inquisitor, 
You have a message from the Caligari Conclave. Inquisitor, you have successfully eliminated the threat posed by the enemy on Atheon Prime. I am an advocate of swift actions, relentless purges, and dedication to our doctrines, and therefore I find your approach commendable. I'm aware that you still have an ongoing investigation to handle, but as you might have suspected from the classified pics recording, that was only the beginning. We want you to travel to Dagnor Primaris and investigate a rebellious uprising. The local Adeptus Arbutus has been keeping an eye on potential cult activity in the Administratum Hive, led by a certain individual with the unsophisticated moniker of The Prophet. The cult has recently triggered a hive-wide rebellion. It might sound trivial, but in the light of your previous mission, we suspect that it could be related to the upsurge of chaos activity in the subsector. Keep moving like the scars aren't 